Hello dear, how are you? Wishing you good health and beautiful family life. Recently Android Studio 4.0 new update is available. So in this one there are several features which are very interesting. Now let's do and try for the motion layout or motion editor. So just I do hands on exercise and share with Android Developer Society. So animation with motion editor using motion layout example of two circles. So these will be the our final output. Let's check out. So two circles with great animation. So after you if you click on it on the surface or any view type it will motion likewise this one. So if you desire this output or if you want to develop certain output like this one then you carry forward with this tutorial or if you do not want to such type of output then you are liberate you are free to develop or keep coding and be happy and let's start with this tutorial as per the android guideline upgrade your studio to android studio 4.0 so go to help check for updates new update 4.0 is available so after updating your studio to 4.0 your starting screen will be like this one so you can go to help and check which version currently right now you have from help and about it should be Android 4.0 then and then you can do this practical so after upgrading your studio to 4.0 let's get quick knowledge about motion layout so motion layout panel information first one on the left side it is palette and component so you can drag and drop certain buttons or views from this palette layout or component to your screen. The second one is design surface. So design surface where we can drag and drop the videos or drag and drop the images, drag and drop the buttons and all the components or widgets. And, and third one is overview panel. Which one is newer in Android Studio 4.0? It has two sub things. One thing is creation icons and another one is overview graph. So overview panel you can set certain constraint set by graphically or graphical GUI graphical user interface. So we will check it out what it happens with the collect particular. Now another panel information is selection panel where you can play your animation without emulator. So without it is a very fantastic feature. So always if you are do hands on exercise with this motion layout then it will be very useful for us or for all the Android developer. And the final one is attribute panels where you can set the timings of animation and all those things. So quick after the quick view of motion layout panel information let's start animation with motion editor using motion layout example of two circles there are only five steps where which we can follow so go to new project and select the empty activity OTS one OTS means one time step so one time step is go to your build.gradle file and add the dependency if not included by default the implementation dot constraint layout dot constraint layout colon 1.1.3 is right now available I think that if your studio is uh, recently updated it may be uh, good features and latest one but make sure that you need to replace with the current updated latest version so implementation of 2.0.0 I implemented beta 6 so make sure your internet connection is on after these and these one only we can do certain things so uh, after these we can if you do not do then there is convert to motion layout will not appear in your Android studio 4.0 so let's start and go to file go to new then go to new project select empty activity give the name of your project likewise demo underscore two circles okay 
whatever the language java or kotlin it, it is no matter click on finish because only we are going to uh, affect with the gui so go to gradle file so inside build.gradle see this one currently right now 1.1.3 is the currently by default it is available to show you that there is an inside this one there is no constraint layout is available in constraint layout 1.1.3 so go to design and when i click on it there is no convert to motion layout is available if we replace 2.0.0 beta 6 and click sync now automatically if your internet connection is on automatically if you right click over here and convert to motion layout is here so this is the option so first ots as per our thing is one time step uh, these convert to motion layout will be available so before that just i go to style.xml it is optional if you want uh, without action bar or full screen then and then implement this step so i go to this one go to res then values and style.xml this one is dark action bar just i say no action bar just close this style.xml okay and design your main activity which is our step number one design your main screen we are going to do two image views with two circles i have already this one inside constraint layout so study your constraint layout if your basic is so good then you can easily update this one so just i click with the primary dark color and by that way just i remove this one and paste it image view with a particular source of blue color i have and uh, just first end of this one and i set uh, end to end of okay parent and uh, top to top of parent so give the id id equals to at that plus id img underscore uh, circle underscore blue okay after that just i copy this one copy and uh, paste it over here control v just uh, give change the id with orange and change it with drawable so orange will be there so it is right now i set left to left of parent and uh, constraint will be bottom to bottom of parent so bottom to okay bottom to bottom of parent so this is the our main screen you can see this one is our main screen is ready right now so just i go to our another one design our main screen is ready just i convert to motion layout so just i we convert to motion layout so right click and just we need to convert to motion layout after that constant layout to motion layout this xml file will be there so inside res xml folder will automatically it will be make and uh, inside that whatever the file name underscore scene dot xml will be automatically generated so let's see and try for this one okay so let's implement this step number two so go to this one right click on it it will only happen if you are constant layout 2.0 you are working with this one so just i convert convert this one to motion scene file and automatically you can see uh, these activity underscore main dot scene dot xml is ready if you visualize with this code purpose then it will convert to from constant layout to motion layout so all the codes of constant of transition and motion scene is written over here so as per our saying that control panel uh, all the panel of motion layout is ready so palette component tree and this view and constant and constant set so all the five panels you can see over here so 
Step number two is over. So step number three, set start and end. So just we are going to design this start and end. So this one is start screen. We want these same start screen on our project. So just I click on end screen over here. So in the end screen, I want this one over here. I think, okay. Uh, you can see this one over here. You can set one for one five four five zero uh, padding, and uh, there is no another one. And uh, for this one, I want over here. Okay. So by that way also, I click 450 dp margin from this one. So this one will be our start screen, and this will be our end screen so both are ready start screen will be look like this one and end screen will be look like this one so this one is step number three and step number four go to uh, this one transition panel and uh, inside that create key position for all these two one so make sure uh, watch carefully what we are doing going to do uh, inside that just uh, first we need to follow and click on this one so and so you can see this transition so first you can see this transition it's uh, amazing we are thankful to Android studio maker that uh, without AVD we can see this transition on this Android studio 4.0 so first I make my cursor over here at the 50 and click on this one click key position this one uh, key position is 50 it affected to circle blue which want that uh, I want comparison with the parent relative so just I uh, release this one by 0 0.3 if you say uh, 0 0.3 it will by this way it will feel so it is uh, 0.3 and uh, you can also convert that by clicking on this one and if you want to convert to 0.5 then you can see this one it is 0.5 so with the comparison of this one just we set for the orange circle also so on the key position just go to orange in the comparison of this one just I make 0.5 so it will slightly down okay so first thing at the frame position we need to convert at 50 so at the below level so frame position will be like this one it will look like this one so very easy you can also do with this purpose and check your transition so just I want certain interaction so I make it some special with this one so after that this one our step number four is over and just move to our final step final step is on below so we need to create on click event and call this one to our layout so click this one and inside create click or swipe handler I just click on click handler inside that click handler handler just a view to click over our base layout we do not want to change just uh, it makes remains base layout so uh, base layout because of if we click on anywhere on the screen animation will be affected so so that's why we make it base layout click on add it is automatically added to this one if you want to check your code then code will be look like this one so this is our end screen or start screen we are not set, uh, setting anything because uh, we already designed our screen likewise which will be on the start screen so and this is keyframe set so basically whatever we have seen or whatever we have seen uh, set for the circle blue and circle orange on the keyframe position of 50 so already all those things are set over here so just uh, we run press shift f10 and enjoy 
so I just press shift F10 so our coding is ready and our output is right now so over here two process is finished and if we click anywhere then see this one okay very nicely it is working motion layout so I am happy by doing this one but uh, one thing just we make to duration 3000 so by this way also you can do if you thoroughly implement your knowledge then also you can implement by this one also so it is uh, graphical user interface and this one is code so anywhere you can implement just once again just I want to slow motion so let's see the, by this way it's a 3000 milliseconds means 3 seconds so it look very nice so this see this one okay very nicely motion layout I enjoy this coding very much okay so as per our commitment what should be our final output and over here you can enjoy by this way so see this one okay you can check what amazing animation with motion editor using example of two circles you can see so just for the, our final output as per our commitment our final output is ready so just for the extra knowledge after the completion of this one if what happen if we do or make motion debug and show path let's experiment so go to code and go to over here just uh, we need to set this attribute motion debug so just uh, you can click motion debug and show path and click on this one so and the result will be on the screen so you can bifurcate all these two outputs so let's see what, what which is the basic difference see this path over here rendered then turn it and once again then turn it it is just for the extra knowledge to you if we do app underscore motion debug show path over there then and then what is affecting so just I removed because it is only extra knowledge and once again as per our desired output our final workout is ready so this is hope you enjoy this motion layout in Android Studio 4.0 so uh, also it also includes the solution of how to convert constraint layout to motion layout and which dependency we need to include inside to create motion layout inside Android Studio 4.0 is compulsory so for more update regarding Android Studio 4.0 subscribe this channel and share with your friends so finally in five steps we have completed animation with motion editor using motion layout example of two circles so thank you for watching this one be happy keep smiling subscribe this channel like and share with your friends thank you thank you very much